They are used to leave poor old men and women in a house. One night, with nothing to eat, they were going to bed when some guests arrived to ask for a night to stay. The guests told that they had eaten nothing too. Hearing this, the old man, at night's hour, went to a neighbor and brought something to feed the guest. Thus, be it any part of Nepal, to deem the guest as God has been the faulty of Nepal and the Nepalese. With pristine snow-capped mountains and rivers, the land of the herald of peace, Gautam Buddha, and of many holy temples. Those who visit Nepal do get happy to see its beauty and are even more attracted to this place for the hospitality of the Nepalese people. Homestay is such a hub where a visitor can closely observe the Nepalese lifestyle. Panoti Homestay, situated near to Kathmandu and managed by Nepalese women, is where a visitor can learn about Nepalese lifestyle and enjoy the village life, living a hectic life for a while. हमने होमस्टे एट संचालन गये यहाँ को लोकल जनता लोकल दीदी बहनी हमें यह होमस्टे स्थापना गये राम भैर अलसम Starting with about 15 houses a couple of months back, this homestay has served 100 plus international guests in a very short time. The guests returned very satisfied and with pleasing memories. The guests are warmly welcomed in homestay by the host. The host manages for a clean room, restroom, TV, electricity, and all the essential needs for the service of their guest. The guests can freshen up and can have lunch of typical Nepalese style and taste. After lunch, the guests are taken for amusing and historical sightseeing and are briefed about it. To do some days quiet and calm in the nature, nothing to do, nothing with a group, just the two of us. And that is why we made this tour of four days to, uh, from uh, Kathmandu to, uh, to uh, Bokpara. Bok, Bok, who heet it? Panauti. Huh? Panauti. Nee, helemaal tent? Bhaktapur. To Bhaktapur, you have to. Panauti has an important historical, archaeological, and ancient background. Panauti area, gifted to his sister by the then Malla king Pupatindra Malla, showcases medieval art and architecture at the bank of confluence of three rivers like Roshi, Punyamati, 
Lilawati, there's a big temple of Indreshwar Mahadev, which being Nepal's biggest, tallest, and oldest temple built in pagoda style. To get free from the curse of Gautam Rishi, Devraj Indra did 12 years of tough penance for Mahadev. Being impressed of this, Mahadev made him free of the curse and Indra installed a Shivalinga at this place. And hence, the place gets its name from this. Situated 32 km east of Kathmandu in Kabul district, Kanauti has old houses belonging to Newar community and small temples inns in between. Kanauti is also famous for a festival and fest. Three day festival in the month of Jester, Makar festival which occurs every 12 years, and 2400 years old Harishiddhi dance along with festival of Janaipurnima and Biscuit Jatra are observed here. Seeing this make visitors more fascinated. After the sightseeing of this historical and ancient culture, guests are taken back to homestay in the evening. While the evening meal is prepared, guests are also told about method to cook the Nepalese food. I like to cook and I like to taste a bit of each dish. After the meal, not too much, and before bed, <laughs> follows a little chat with guests about one another's lifestyle culture, religion, and about their ease and struggle. The next morning, if guests wish to remain further, are taken to other places for sightseeing, or is presented with other Nepalese delicacy. If guest wishes to leave, they are prepared breakfast of their choice and are given a happy farewell until next visit. Panauti homestay may not have the luxury of a star hotel, but it is an ideal place for international guests to feel like home, to share ease and struggle, to acclimatize to the local environment, to eat what is available, and to live a simple life for a while. I hope they will have a lot of guests in future and that they will enjoy their stay here.